My bike has been fantastic this year. I have just been digging this bike so much. I got a size medium in the Stumpy Evo. It's a 2023 model. And it was great right out of the box. It was, it was perfect. Um, having been riding Park City mostly this year, I've been riding a lot steeper stuff, a lot uh, more technical stuff with lots of low speed drops, high speed drops, jumps, gap jumps, stuff like that. Oh yeah. Oh, that felt great. Oh yeah. And so I was really stoked that I got a size medium for that. Um, my last bike was a size large. It always felt a little bit long for me. Um, jumping felt a little bit uncomfortable on my last bike. Uh, low speed drops was just that much, that much more difficult to get right every time, uh, where the back end is out a little further. The reach was out a little further. This bike, it's just, it's cramped a little bit more. Um, and I notice it in the, in the fast chunk, the straight line, fast chunk, you know, my bike gets kind of bucked around a little bit more than I had on my last bike. Another drop. Yeah. Um, but that's an easy trade-off in my opinion for being able to do uh, low speed drops with so much more confidence. Jumping is a dream on this bike. And then also the adjustments are just vast. You can kind of see on here if you're familiar with the setup um, that I have the headset cup set in the slack position. And then I've gone back and forth on the chainstay position because you can, you can go high low or long short on the chainstay. Um, I rode most of the year in the low position. So the chainstay is long and the bottom bracket is low. Um, most of the year I rode that way and it was great. It was really, really nice. Um, but in the last probably three weeks ago, I switched it to the high position. So bottom bracket comes up, chain stay gets a little bit shorter. And I definitely prefer that position for a lot of things. Jumping, uh, drops, uh, jibbing, just like playful stuff. The bike is way more playful um, in that position. Yeah, the big glaring thing right there in the middle is the coil shock. I got that recently. I've probably only had six or seven rides on it so far. It's been incredible. Just like exactly what I hoped for. And a couple things that I didn't expect that are even better. Um, it's, it's just like what you would expect from a, a coil. The back end just disappears. It just like through all the chatter, all the chunk, all the high, high speed stuff that normally be bucking your feet off. Um, you're really trying to hold on as tight as you can to survive through it. It just like smooths everything out in the back end. Oh yeah, broody chunks. Beautiful. It's wild and and you know, that's kind of what I was expecting and so as far as that goes It's it's exactly what I was expecting um, and hoping for one thing that I didn't expect is Somehow I feel more comfortable jumping with this coil on um, I'm, I'm not the best jumper in the world. I'm not the best at, at kind of preloading my bike into the lips and popping Uh, off a uh, off a of lips of jumps, and so I, I kind of I tend to go off with a a bit more of a gradual pop um, with my bike, and and on my last bike size large, I found myself getting bucked a lot, mostly because I probably wasn't just like putting enough pressure through my feet. But with this coil, um, it's like you know, it, like what do they say about coils? It's a linear linear uh, progression on on your shock. And so you don't have as much pop. You don't have as much progression. It doesn't, it doesn't um, load up and then spring out as, as poppy as a, 
as an air shock does. And I didn't expect to like that with jumping because it, it fits my, my, I guess, uh, lack of experience with jumping style, um, a little bit better. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting as much spring out of it, um, popping off of the lips of those jumps. And so I end up feeling more comfortable. It's more predictable, um, coming off of the lips of jumps. Um, you know, if I was better, if I was more advanced at jumping, I maybe, you know, maybe I would want that extra pop, that extra, um, uh, preload pop that you get from an air shock. Um, but for me personally, right now where I'm at with my riding, this thing was surprisingly comfortable. Um, I felt really, really good coming off of lips with this coil shock. Yeah. Looking real smooth. Jumping looks so much better. Sick. Than it used to be. Yeah, we'll walk down to look at them really quick. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, I've kind of talked about it before, but I got new brakes um, maybe a month or two ago. Really, really happy with these Lewis brakes. Uh, tons of power compared to my codes, just way more power. Um, uh, able to control myself through through steep stuff, way better. And just uh, just been digging these brakes. They're a massive upgrade to the uh, SRAMs that I've always ridden in the past. So never had Shimano's. I'm sure if I had Shimano's and I was going from that, it might be a different story a little bit as far as the difference that I'm noticing, but. I'm digging it. All right, well, let's get up there.